we wanted, we got several requests for some bedtime yoga. And I get it. Sometimes it's hard to wind down at the end of the night. So I'll show you a few things that I do if I'm spinning too much in my head or just needing, needing something to help me relax and shut it off for the day. Sleep is so important. So let's go ahead and come onto our mat and grab a pillow if you haven't. Um, it's nice, nice to have a pillow. It's good, good prop for sleep. So let's just come into seated. I'm just gonna kind of start to rock the body forward and rock it back. So you can hold onto the knees here. So a lot of things that I like to do when I'm trying to go to bed, I kind of think about doing rhythmic things. Rhythmic things, using the breath. Kind of rocking your own body into sleep. Let's roll the body. So roll over to the left, to the right, and then tilt the spine towards the back. And kind of bring the chest forward. Exhaling at the back, and inhaling forward. Let's go the other way. Think about rocking yourself to sleep here. One more round. And let's put the right arm down, left arm up. Rainbow over, you can keep the eyes closed, I suggest it. And to the left. Go ahead and come onto your back. Well, let's come actually come seated, seated first with the soles of the feet on the ground. And we're moving real slow, no sudden movements. Knees are on, hands are on the knees. I'm gonna lift my chest up and then inhale. And then an exhale, I'll start to round. So bringing like my forehead towards my knees. And then inhale up. So let's try to elongate the inhales and the exhales because that starts to send signals to your nervous system that everything's okay, everything's safe, that you are clear to relax. And this time, whenever you put your knees, your um, forehead towards your knees, we're gonna to start to round down. Keeping the back rounded. And then eventually you'll have to let go of your knees and we'll come onto the ground. And take the pillow, let's place it underneath the low back and spread your legs long. Just helping with the natural curve in your back. And really you can place the pillow wherever you like. So if it feels a little better underneath your hips, it's just a real slight, it's just a real slight uh, support where you can move it up maybe and get a little, a little bit in your spine and your more of your thoracic spine, but just a little bit of cushion. So let's bring our right knee in. 
And then exhale, kind of release a little bit. Keep your hands on it. I'm sorry, on an exhale, pull it in. On an inhale, kind of release. And then exhale in. And release. Moving with breath. Long inhales and exhales. And this time when you inhale, you can start to twist over on the exhale instead of coming back in. So we're just gonna relax here. Don't worry about getting a deep twist. Don't worry about turning your neck to the opposite side. Just really gentle, just twisting and breathing. And trace your breath all the way from the beginning to the top of the inhale and to the bottom. You can even kind of visualize like a, what are those like circus balls that it'll come up with the air and then it'll go back down or a line or a wave. It's good to have kind of have a visualization as well just to follow the breath. And then slowly, gently coming back to center. And you can pull both the legs in and just kind of rock side to side. So we're literally rocking ourselves to sleep. It's nice to have a pillow right here too. Just if the, if your bones hit the mat or something, this feels nice. Feels good to rock on a pillow. And stretch everything open, stretch long, and then slowly we'll grab the left knee. On an inhale, we'll hold it loosely, and then on an exhale, pull it towards the chest. On an inhale, relax, and an exhale, pull in. About three more times. It's just the rhythm and the cadence of the repetition. Sending signals to your body that it's time to, to tuck it in for the night. And then this time on the exhale, we'll twist over to the right. So gentle twists. Don't worry about deep, getting it deeply. Most important thing is that we're extending our breath. Putting some awareness on it. So if your mind is tend, tend to race, if that tends to be an issue with your sleep, like you're thinking of things you need to do or things that you have done, when you feel your mind go to that, bring it back to your breath. Uh, that's a generic way to say it, but why don't you try to count your breath or say inhale to yourself when you inhale and exhale to yourself when you exhale. Or follow that ball or that line moving up and down or that wave coming in or out. So 
The best thing for a busy mind is to give it something to do. So this kind of will lead it over towards the side of being productive for you right now in bringing it inside into the present moment. Because you can't focus on your breath at the same time as you're daydreaming or thinking about the past or the present. The breath is in the present. So finding a way that helps you come back to that. Go ahead and slowly come back into center and you can pull your knee in one more time. And then pull the other knee in. And again, rock side to side. Go ahead and stretch long. Kind of just slither your legs out and slither your arms out. Maybe you cross your hands, your, your arms over your eyes, and put your palms over your eyes. Or even better, if you have a scarf or something, a pillowcase to put over your eyes. And let's just take five of the longest and deepest breaths that you've had all day. So let's start on an inhale. And let it out. In. Keep going at your own pace. And I'm just going to leave you right here And I hope that you have wonderful dreams. And I'll see you next time. Good night. Your knees here and sit your hips back. We'll walk our arms out. And your hips may not come all the way down. You may be more like this and that's fine too. So whatever feels good to you. But walk your fingertips out so we're opening Underneath your armpit. 